Hello and welcome to the third Pride Month prompt package. We will be going over uh, two poems and two stories in this package. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So the first poem is titled Imposter Syndrome and is based on the prompt, prompt, not pomped, write a poem about a time that you forgot something. With so many terms, it's easy to forget. Sometimes my own, I do regret. I feel as if I'm not home in myself. We call this imposter syndrome. I forget who I am, that I am valid. Instead, feel left out like it's all phallus, like I made it up to just fit in. This is my brain's only sin because it's a liar. It's not speaking the truth for I know who I am and I have proof. I can forget on cloudy days, but the sun shines through with all its rays. The smile on my face when I appreciate that I'm who I am and I am great. So that was imposter syndrome. The next one is a story called His Face. And it's based on the prompt, write a story about a character who one day learns they have an identical twin. Flicking through the profiles, his face stared back, his profile, faceless, which offered a certain amount of anonymity. I don't know why I can't say that. When it came to messaging the occupier of his face, they agreed to meet. What began for him as the start of a hookup turned into shock and confusion as he looked upon his image. The two began throwing around facts about their lives. Same birthday, same birthplace. But most shocking of all, same grandmother. Yep, for years their grandmother had been visiting them both without either one knowing. It's why she could never attend their birthdays for more than a couple of hours. She had hidden them from each other. If it wasn't for a random scroll through a gay hookup app, the twins never would have met. At the time, they felt hurt and betrayed, but now they look back and laugh, sharing the sentiment, I guess the app is good for something after all. The next one is a short poem titled Brunette Gold, and is based on a prompt, write a dramatic monologue from a character that you would like to explore. Her eyes are like chocolate, swirled to perfection. Her lips move as butter without need of mention. Her skin like porcelain, fresh from the mould. Her hair like a river of brunette gold. Every curve, every inch, she's perfect to me. In Sappho's name, I give her my heart. Offer my hands to light up her dark. Her beauty shines beyond any star. And our final story for today's package is Warped Reality. Based on the prompt... For your birthday, you receive a pair of glasses that allow you to see hidden or invisible things. So let's get into it. But guys, that's all I could think of when I stuck the jar bottoms on my eyes. Like saucers the size of the things were. How a tiny frail frame could hold all this glass, I'll never know. But they were glued to me. No matter what I thought of them, they were stuck to my face. For some reason I wasn't quite sure of, I loved them. The feeling of warped reality everywhere I looked, intoxicating. And that's just the thing. They warped reality to such an extent that I could see things I'd never seen before. I could see a person's heart beating within their chest, and inside every heart, like a locket, sat an image of the thing their heart desired the most. As I looked around the room at all my friends, I saw my face in the heart of a guy I've known my whole life. I couldn't believe he loved me back. So that was today's prompt package. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.